Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from our walking tour series. Today we are heading towards the outskirts of Norvington, a small village near Winchester. Our next visit was to a striking comparison of Greek revival architecture at Norvington Grange. First built in the 1660s as a Palladian brick mansion, but later in the 19th century it was transformed into a monumental neoclassical grange, all inspired and resembling the Greek culture, and in particular a likeness of Greek temple, with dominating columns at the front of the house. The mansion was built for Sir Robert Henley. This house was one of the earliest houses built in England in a classical Greek style. Henley hired William Samwell to rebuild the house at Norvington. And around a hundred years later, a banker, Henry Drummond, bought the estate and the surroundings. He then added in the lake and the landscape park. Henry Drummond brought in an architect, William Wilkins, who set about to change the exterior of the property and created an extension of Greek revival around the original classic structure to what you see today. The property was due to be demolished in the 1970s due to disrepair, but was thankfully saved in 1975 and sits comfortably in the beautiful English countryside. The Grange is owned by the English Heritage. Its grounds are not only a place for us to visit for free, but also it provides a venue in summer for the annual critically acclaimed opera festival. To get to the building it is quite tricky. The mansion is in fact in the middle of a huge landscape park and you'll need to follow on tough terrain down a private drive to get to this property. The building is signposted vaguely but you get a good idea of the route because you can see the building from afar. We very much enjoyed this visit to the Grange. We were the only people there and managed to walk around the mansion and the park leisurely with no problems. It is a shame that you aren't allowed inside the property but it is a stunning scale of Greek architecture and it is completely different to the ruins and the medieval castles that we're used to seeing. It's also a great opportunity for photos on a good day. So if you'd like, you can follow our journey and what we're getting up to on our Instagram page or alternatively, hit the notification button when you subscribe to be sure to be told when a new video pops up next. As always, we hope you've enjoyed watching today's video as much as we did exploring it. Till next time.